Welcome back, thank you for being here. Welcome to this little vlog about the statue of Sekhmet that we went to visit as part of a tour earlier this year in Egypt. Now, there are multiple statues of Sekhmet in Egypt and all around the world, but this one in particular is located at Karnak Temple and the site is closed to the general public. It's very well known for strange things happening there. So yeah, keep watching to see how our experience was and if anything weird went down when we visited. had an experience with Sekhmet. So Sekhmet is the goddess of war. She is known as a destroyer, but also a healer. She has the head of a lioness and the body of a woman. Not many people know where this statue of Sekhmet is. It's at Karnak Temple somewhere. Um, so not many people are able to get access to this site but it is very well known for really strange things happening there. So last time Johanna was here, there were multiple anomalies that happened at this site, a lot to do with technical equipment. So for instance, somebody took two photos less than a second apart and they each had a different location set on the on the iphone like where they where they put the location one other person one of their photos from their phone was completely whited out it was just a white screen and apparently this doesn't happen unless there is a super strong light going right into the lens of the camera so the room that segment is in is almost dark it's there's barely any light in there Other people claim to have seen the statue move, wink, and even glow green. Some of the workers there say that they see a large cat-like figure running around at night. And I know this can sound a bit out there, but I've actually heard personal stories from skeptics that have said physical healing has happened to them at this site. And these are skeptics, right? So I was really excited, but also a bit apprehensive for this visit, having done quite a bit of research on this particular topic. Um, and I'm gonna keep my experience to myself, uh, to keep it sacred for now, but I will say the rumors are true. <laughs> Me and Johanna had very similar experiences, which was completely different to her experience before. Her experience before was very physical. This time it was more emotional. Yeah, I'll pop on the screen a photo that one of our group took. Now for ages, I was looking at this photo thinking it was a person, like one of the people on our, on our tour. I thought it was him standing in front of the statue. And it's only quite a long time later that I realized this is not a person. The guy who took this photo was leaning up against the wall to steady himself. So he was holding the, his camera as steady as possible. Whether this is a trick of the light, I don't know, but look at the photo and let me know what you think. It looks exactly like a person. You can see the hat, the shape, there's even like intricate lines on his coat. And then if you look at the legs of Sekhmet, it almost looks like they're see-through. Like that colour of the beige looks like the stone behind the statue. So with all of these anomalies and strange things happening, how, why? The only possible theory is that the site is located on energy lines in the earth. So like ley lines, strong energy currents crossing over. The floor is granite, which is 50% quartz, which we know can react with certain 
things in the air. Um, it's just a highly charged sight. And all I know is I am absolutely fascinated by this sight, this experience. I'm just blown away, honestly. Like, let me know what you think about this. Have you been to see her? Have you heard any stories? I would love to hear. Thank you.